Hello everybody. So today is the day. I'm revisiting my mechanic and today's agenda includes but not limited to seat belt kit repair to get rid of that light. Uh, oil change, transmission fluid change, um, possibly sunroof. So I'm pulling in. There it is. We'll see what happens. All right, so I spoke with the mechanic. He will be pulling out the driver's seat, and he's working on it right now. Uh, and then while he's going to be working on that, I'm going to be working on getting, this, getting my seat, uh, fixing some of the rust and some other things. And I, and I did ask him for permission to film, you know, myself while I'm in his domain and he said that's okay so while i'm waiting for him to pull the seat out i've noticed some cool cars and this is an interesting red a4 which i obviously don't know why it's here but it seems like in a very good shape it's a it's a stick shift well you guys can't see it but it's very tinted very nice looking you know he's got a nice interesting selection of this old <laughs> old what is this a chevy Chevy truck, Chevy plow, yeah, Chevy 2500 with a plow, okay, interesting, looks so like the inside is, uh, it's, it's a little beat up, but nothing major, so the shop next door, so that's the 3C re auto repair, that's where my car is at, and then that shop next to it, that's a body shop that's not related to one another, but you guys remember my LS, uh, Lincoln LS, so there's that one that, um, you know, was all destroyed in the night. It looks like this is somebody's daily driver, the black one, so. Uh, what else? You got a Ford Focus. You got a Honda Accord here. You got a Mercedes M, see it's a new model, M430, because the L has fallen off. It looks like it's on a much beefier tires than they would be normally. Hmm. No, I can't see. I hate tinted windows because I can't film through the closed door. And then it looks like we got some three cabs over there. Ooh, look at all this rust on this Mercedes. Wow. Got a lot of chips, so probably went through a lot of crap in its life. And everything tinted can can do that. Mm, got a standard Honda Accord. Ooh, look at this. It's a GX, I think. Lexus GX. Mm, can't do much with that. So here's an interesting find in the shop right here. There's my car that's being pulled out. There's the seat. So. This is a Toyota Prius that the mechanic is helping to replace the battery. And this is what happens when one of these cells, so he said that there's uh, 28 of these cells that are inside that battery compartment in a Prius. And one of these cells started to malfunction or died or some, some combination of the above. So he actually pulled it out from underneath there and this one component will need to be replaced but the fact of the matter is that if one component is not working the one cell the rest of it doesn't work and that's where the battery is the standard battery oh this is an interesting look never thought i would see this component right there hmm. and then that is the prius all right so i'm going to be working on my seat while mechanic does the rest Okay, so here is the seat out of my car. Here is what's happening inside my car at this moment. And this is the part that he's trying to replace. There's the part that I got. So what I'm going to try to attempt is to get the, the foam out of there. So I'm going to wait here. And this is the foam that I stuck underneath it to give it extra support. And I'm also going to try to take some of this rust off. And I'm sorry, I'm speaking a bit quieter because mechanic is talking to someone. So 
It's interesting. I never really had this experience before. So it's interesting to me how it all kind of fits together. And all right, I'm going to attempt to probably take some rust off. And in order for me to do that, I, yeah, I brought some spray with me. So, all right, I'll get going. First with the, maybe the foam and then with the rust. So this is where I am with my seat repair. I'm trying to kind of put everything underneath here. And there it is. So I'm going to be putting this styrofoam right underneath. All right, guys, the seat is officially done. So here it is now extremely Stuffed. I put some material underneath that is nice and firm. I can also show you right up here what I've done. So this is my original star, uh, foam. I've added an additional piece on the other side of this metal. So I actually did take it all off. Um, I did disconnect. So you can kind of see the little crease here because it's got extra padding underneath. And let's see if I can turn this thing around. Um, but ultimately, I'm very happy with the result. So here it is. Here is underneath my seat. I didn't take the rust off here. I'm a bit too much exhausted already. But I've added foam here. Then I did take this entire panel off without removing the backrest. Um, and got some cars being repaired here. And so I've added foam here, but then I've also added foam on the other side. You can kind of see that. So it's behind. So it is behind where the heated seats would go. So it's not, it shouldn't, shouldn't affect the heated seats. If anything, if anything, it should bring it closer to the, the rear end. And then the most painful part was getting all these things back in the place. So once I stretched the seat with the extra foam down there and down there, that was rather difficult, but I did manage to get all of them back in there. And my car is right there, getting, getting ready. And let's see if I can sneak a peek underneath my own car. All right guys, so I'm gonna sneak a peek underneath my 2006 Lincoln Town car. So you can kind of see what happens with a car, with a town car. Um, when it spends 14 years in the Midwest. So this car, I think, is originally from Illinois. So I'm not going to comment on a lot of this stuff because, to be honest with you, I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. I know that this is a brake line. So he did drop that, he said so this is a replacement of a transmission fluid, so he dropped the pan. I know that much. And that noise, I don't know what he's doing. So it's an interesting look. I've never been underneath my car before with a camera. Let's see, it's dripping down. I'm guessing that's the filter. So here it is from this side. Obviously, you can see a lot of rust. I mean, there's, there's no way to get around that. But, you know, I bought this car well knowing if you guys want to point out an interesting thing or two, obviously, about this car, please leave it in the comments. But so here it is in all the glory my car I did speak with the mechanics and they will uh, kind of allow me to film a little bit more wider so including um, a shutout so I will be including that on the screen uh, it's called 3C Automotive 
It's on Lincoln Avenue in Skokie, Illinois. So let's see. So what do we actually have here? You know, now that I kind of got a more official um, approval to film underneath here. Huh. Yeah, if you guys want to comment anything, by all means do. Please keep in mind, I am not a mechanic, so I may not necessarily know what I am filming. Oh, that's an interesting shot right there. So here is a more of an official, now that I have an approval, uh, the shop that I'm in, there's my car. So again, that shop, it does not relate to the shop, it's independent. So, you know, they're, they're occupying an interesting uh, building here. So we got two shops, independent. Uh, this looks like an ex-body shop as well, so that makes sense. Uh, here's some exterior shots. Here is their service of operations, or I mean hours of operation. All right, got a drop box. Got a lot of interesting vehicles down here. Ooh, look at that. That's an interesting find right there. This wasn't there when I first arrived. Look at that. Got a, a Mercury Grand Marquis. GS so I'm not sure if it's a customer's car or not so GS would be the base model but it's got leather seats inside so I'm not sure what that is all about but it's got hubcaps hmm so this is not the last model so this is probably up to like 2008 if I had to guess yeah, those are interesting combination of hubcap slash wheel. Hmm. Can't can't see well inside, but got the blacked out handle. So once again, signifying that it's a base model. Hmm. Interesting. You know, now that I own a Lincoln Town car, I I know I start noticing these cars a lot better than I did before. Now they actually mean something to me. Good old Panther platform. And yeah, this car's this car's seen better days, that's for sure. It rained really heavily, so this car is taking a beating. I know I already filmed it earlier. So Oh, got a sea of cars here. Once again, this shop is not this is more of a body shop than than the mechanics side. Hmm love these cars really do all right guys so while the mechanic is working on my moon roof the gasket I took on a new project so using this rust dissolver putting it in uh, it's a gel so it kind of goes on like this oh crap but we missed that All right, so putting it on like this, it's like a gel, kind of like a toothpaste. All right, and then just really going crazy like this and actually taking the rust off. So that's kind of what I've been working on. It's not very convenient to, uh, to film because obviously I need both hands and, you know, and I've, I've been kind of working on other things here. So I'm hoping that this rust that's been really, see it's already starting to come off here. So as I just do this, obviously with a lot more force, it comes off. So that's what I hope to accomplish. All right guys, just got done with 3C Automotive uh, repairs. Driving, well stopped at a light for pretty, heavy rain it was coming down to uh, it's coming down quite heavily earlier than that 
So first of all, super excited that the airbag light went away. I am driving right now, so I don't wanna stay too unfocused, but I got that new uh, seat belt tensioner system. And as soon as he clicked it in, everything matched, everything is good. The light went off. So I do wanna thank the dealership for telling me what's wrong with it and not charging me. So there's a good win there. Uh, also, this will be a good test. So driving through this rain, uh, the mechanic did also reinstall the sunroof gasket. So that's something that's been leaking. Now, as I left the repair shop, um, I mean, immediately did not start, the water did not start coming down, but it, it would be good to know uh, once I'm done, I'll, I'll probably stop for some gas and I'll check that tray. Now, I am assuming there will be some water because as we all know, sunroofs are not watertight. So some water will inevitably leak inside. It's just a matter of how much because before that tray up up, up on top was uh, full, you know, full of water. So he also did uh, blow out the drains which are located like right in this corner um, when the sunroof is open and there's one on that side as well. So I did that too earlier thinking that maybe they were clogged, but then at the same time, I, I don't know, you know, if it, it's kind of difficult and, and he was honest and he said, you know, sunroofs are, are not my thing, but he did replace it. He cut it to a certain size. It fit. It's not coming off. It's, he did a much better job than I could have done myself. So ultimately this would be a good test. Now I also uh, did some work on the seat and I'm sitting right now and enjoying it so much. You have no idea because the seat now has a lot more cushioning and it's a lot uh, it's a lot more straight too than it was before. So, um, all right, uh, I'll be pulling into the uh, gas station soon enough and I will be checking it out. So here we are at a gas station. As you can see, it's still kind of raining out there. So here is the sunroof. Here is the gasket. Um, I will obviously need to clean this off but in general, I mean, it's sitting there very well. But there is, so the mechanic also noticed one interesting thing. So first of all, this is how it should be. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. I thought that was solid. So that's, that's shame on me, once again. It just shows that I don't know much. But then the interesting thing is, so when you open it up like this, right? So, you know, it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But then when you close it, the mechanic noticed this. It kind of sinks in. So I did not know this. So this is kind of where it stops by default. Now, I don't know if this, if this is correct, because it does look like it's sitting a bit below, you know, below where it should be. So I don't know. So I, what I can do is I can just test it out by maybe just manually closing it. So you see that? So here's its raised. It kind of sinks in. I don't think that's how it should be. So what I can do is I can kind of manually adjust it. Sorry. So like that, so then it's kind of sitting over the roof. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to monitor this situation because ultimately I understand that, it, uh, that it's not going to be exact 100% watertight. So putting my hand in there right now in that tray, I do see, I mean, I do feel some water. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it up. I'm gonna check what we have here. All right, so what we have here, obviously, is that plastic tray that, that keeps going around. And yeah, there's some water in there. But then I also asked them to blow out the channel drains that are right there in the corner, and then there's one in this corner. It's really, they're really difficult to get to. So ultimately, you know, and then there's water in here too. So I am not sure if, and you know well now I can't get to it so so ultimately I am not a hundred percent sure if the gasket fixed it 
Is it the fact that it's not sitting flush and you can kind of push on it? So what I'm gonna do is once it starts stops raining maybe for a day or two, I'm gonna go through that car wash and I'm gonna check it out. I mean, ultimately if a bunch of water comes through, then, then I'll know that I'll need to take it to a, a different, you know, like a body shop or a glass shop or maybe somewhere, somebody who can readjust this motor if it's even possible to readjust. So anyway, so besides that, I got my new seat. So this is what I worked on uh, separately. So you can kind of see it's puffed out because I did put a lot more material in there. And man, now this thing is super soft, super cushy, super nice. Here's my new seat belt. So this is, so he replaced this whole retention system mechanism that's in there. So got the new buckle right here. So now I got this buckle there and that buckle there. Oh, I gotta hide away the third seat belt. And this is, this is from rust. And also here, I worked on it a little bit. I took some of the rust off. So look at that. I gotta vacuum it and, and do some more work. And you can kind of see the, the mounting here. So yeah, I mean, it, some of the rust did come off. So I'll, I'll, I'll work on it maybe a little more. Maybe I need to make a whole cleaning video, how I keep my town car clean. I, I'm not sure. Oh uh, yeah, so got that. Got the airbag light. Got the, the sunroof kind of halfway there. Putting in some gas. Not too bad. So running through all my systems check. Alright, air suspension still going strong. Alright. Looks good. So, and here's the best part everybody so this is the the actual invoice so the guy spent like three hours working on that installed the left front seat belt assembly i supplied the parts oil change and filter change and transmission service and you know he didn't even he didn't even put the the gasket replacement so ultimately it's 300 bucks so prices are are i'm super happy with them uh it's a 3c automotive um, you know, obviously I know that my viewers are all over the place, but if you guys are in the area, by all means, you know, check them out. They're, they're two guys, they're two mechanics, experienced, friendly, knowledgeable, decided to let me film. Uh, I know that this video was a bit, um, different and choppy because, uh, you know, I tried working on my car as well. Uh, but you know, hopefully you guys get some ideas and I will obviously keep posting, you know, please keep um, You know, keep liking keep subscribing. I enjoy all that stuff. Oh, man And also I just noticed how smooth the seat belt now moves Before it didn't it didn't retract like this and also before there were the material Oops, they were it was fraying. So I got a new and upgraded seat belt and buckle Yeah, okay so there you go, folks. This is my 06 Lincoln Town Car Repair. Thank you so much to 3C Automotive Company. It's very nice. And see you all next time. Oh, and then before I go, I wanted to show you uh, what happened to that original uh, sunroof gasket. So this is it right here. This uh, stuff, the white stuff, is a remnant of my Flex Seal repair, which obviously didn't work. So inside it all looks like corroded and there is some like rust that got imprinted on it. So I don't know if this is an original gasket and I'm filming it right next to a dumpster. So, cause that's where it's gonna end up. So this is kind of interesting. And what's interesting to me is that there is no adhesive to it. So this is interesting. I didn't know that. I, I really thought that it was glued somehow in there, but no, uh, they give you a little extra and then it has to be trimmed and on both ends of it there's corrosion inside which I, once again i don't think it does anything because it's just there for stiffness to give it some some form but there's my car and you know with the current sunroof gasket that's in there you know worst case scenario i just got you know a new gasket that's not that big of a deal but hopefully this will work like i said there's a little bit of water that's in the tray but considering the rain and everything else i, I think it's pretty good um you know keep an eye on it and see you all next time